We're at this house we finished a few months ago. It's a full ICF house right up to the roof. And what I want to talk about today is the fact that with an ICF system, it's if you're trying to meet passive spec, net zero, or just have a high efficient airtight home, ICF is a really easy way to achieve all of that. As we're getting close to finishing this house, weird things were happening that we could tell that the house is super airtight. And since we'd never done any testing in the past, we didn't know, we didn't have a standard or anything to gauge that. We always knew an ICF house was a great way to build, but we never tested it. So for example, like the, the garage to house door, that's supposed to be spring loaded, close automatically. Well, this one, we had to wind that spring, just wound up tight so that the door would close because there's no movement of air anywhere. So just things like that that were happening. So we decided, okay, house is all finished, customers moved in, but let's do this blower door test so we could tell and have a standard. We know exactly how airtight this house is. So there's a lot of things that we've learned along the way and we'll, and we'll just try to do it quickly so not to waste your time. But anyway, so we had our buddy Daryl come in. He does a blower door test. So he sets up this big fan in the doorway, seals it up. This fan is computer controlled and it modulates and what it does the whole point of the test is to see how much natural air loss you have in your house. So the fan pulls air out of the house, creating a negative pressure of 50 pascals of air. Then the computer can tell how much air loss there is by the balance of how that fan operates. And what they're trying to calculate is air exchanges per hour. So how much the total volume of air in that house, how much of that do you lose per hour? So a mo like even to, to today's standard, a brand new conventionally built wood framed house will lose two and a half to three and a half air exchanges per hour. Total volume of the house gets lost two and a half to three and a half times per hour. So that's today built. So there's passive spec, which is super airtight. There's actually R2000 is 1.5 air exchanges per hour. Passive is 0.6 air exchanges per hour. And even today, like there's builders out there who are trying to set a new standard. They're still building with conventional methods, wood frame, da, 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 da. But they have to go to a lot of effort and a lot of detail to make sure that they can get it airtight. And if they can hit a one air exchange per hour, that's a very good thing for them, right? But the point of my video is to show you that with an ICF, you can achieve a far better level of that without all the care and detail. And you don't have to, you don't need all these crazy technological products and all these different items that you need to buy to actually achieve something beyond the one air exchange. Okay. Like I said, the whole, and I'm not bullshitting you is they were already moved in. We did the test after the fact, we just wanted to build a high quality home. We took our regular attention to detail. We did our vapor barrier on the ceiling, just took care of our details, all the penetrations through the walls. We took care of those, but we didn't have to go to great lengths. And at the end, when the testing was happening, we ended up having a 0.23 air exchange per hour. So like I said, passive is 0.6. So we almost three times better than that spec. And with that result, I was blown away. Like actually at first I didn't believe that result. It took a while. It took probably two or three hours before it sunk in. And then the next day I was, the gravity of it set in and I'm like, holy, like this is pretty huge. We didn't even try to achieve that. We were, we didn't even know what air exchanges per hour was before we did the test. Right. And then all of a sudden we have some data and that, that proves that ICF can achieve that. And we don't have to go, like I said, to great lengths, special care and attention to detail to get that. And what, and the best thing about it and the part that I like is basically no trade when you're considering the wall, you don't have to worry, okay, well, you can't do this. Don't poke that wire. You got to do this or do that. We don't have to worry about that. They can't bugger up our wall system because it's foam, concrete and foam. So even if they gouge a little too much foam, 
you can either just respray foam it, but the concrete that's there is also creating the air seal, so they can't really screw it up. And we didn't, we didn't have to go to great lengths. We did our detail on our ceiling, we sealed our penetrations, boom, we hit a 0.23, and we didn't have to go mental on it. There's two things I want to add to the story here. So after we were done testing this house, I had actually arranged with Daryl to go to another house that we had finished four years prior, which is just a little southeast of here. I had Daryl scheduled to just do some infrared images for some other marketing that I wanted to do. But when we got there, Daryl had assumed that we were doing a blower door test. And I was like, yeah, well, absolutely. I'm 100% down. So we actually set up the blower door test quickly. I ran the math. The homeowner still had a set of blueprints there. So I ran the math on the total volume while Daryl was setting up. So this place was actually, like I said, four years earlier, and we were only losing 211 CFM. So how, I'll run through the math and I'll kind of go through both houses. So this place, 211 CFM, which is cubic feet per minute times 60 minutes is 12,660 cubic feet per hour. And we want to know air exchanges per hour. So we just take the, the, total cubic feet of air lost divided by the total volume, which is 30,140 cubic feet of total air. And this house ended up being a 0.42 air exchange per hour. So first of all, I was shocked at the 0.23 on the first house, but then this actually just helped verify how good the ICF really is. And it helps to show you that I'm not full of BS and the fact that Four years prior, we got a 0.42, so still far above the passive spec. And even then, we there must have been a few things we missed. So we're we're obviously getting a little bit better with our details. We're already exceeding the most stringent standards. And so yeah, it's not by accident. It's, that's because the ICF system is so good. So just I'll run through that math quickly on the the, the first house, the main video there is if you look carefully, we we're losing 143 CFM. And if you look on the little dial there, it's, it shows you the total volume of the house, 37,200 cubic feet. So if you take 143 CFM times 60 minutes in an hour is 8,580 cubic feet per hour divided by 37,200. That's how you get the 0.23 air exchange on the first house. So in summary, ICF is now, we got some data to prove that it's just so much better than conventional methods.